3D learners. In this video, we are going to see IGCSE 050 or 0607's uh, number strand question. So let's start the video. So the first question is all about Alana and Bill share some ratio. Some money in the ratio 5 is to 4. Alana share is $160. Uh, show that Bill's share is $128. So Alana and Bill are sharing the amount in 5 is to 4. So 5 is for Bill. So the total share is 160 so we can say that five parts so i'm just writing it as p five parts they said that is equal to 160 with the help of this we can get to know what is the one part value it is 160 divided by five so we are getting the answer as 32 if one part value is 32 then we know that a bill is sharing that four i mean bill bill is the person bill is uh, sharing the amount uh, in the four shares actually four parts is going to be uh, 4 into 32 that is we are getting as 128 and that's what actually if we want to prove it let's go to the next question Alana spend X dollar uh, the ratio of Alana's is to Bill's money is now 4 is to 5 okay now uh, they have mentioned that Alana spends some dollar. Uh, we don't know how much I mean which means that they did not give any information about how much bill uh, Spends which means bill did not spend any amount now their amount uh, Has changed into 4 is to 5 so find the value of x is what we have to find it So this 4 is to 5 is the new ratio We don't know how much he spent, but we know what was the previous amount of bills the previous amount of bills is 128 dollar that was actually four share but now it has changed into five share so again we are going to continue the same thing so five share amount has changed into four see you, you can see it here four share amount is 128 but the ratio have changed from four to five so five share amount is 128 now so that we will get to know what is the one share value is it is 25.86 so if one share value is going to be 25.6 how did we get this five share value is 128 then one share value i mean one part value is 25.6 which means we can get to know how much that uh, alana has now because the how much share that alana holds now is four share so four into uh, 25.6 will give the answer as it's 102.4 so four part value is 102.4 whereas previously we can see it clearly Alana has $160 so previously she has $160 and now she has only $102.4 so 160 minus 102.4 dollar that is nothing but almost she spent 57.6 that's what actually they denoted as x so she spent 57.6 actually we can write that, that as uh, two decimal places it's a cost i mean money next question is a uh, shop has a sale uh, bill by a jacket in the sale for uh, 32 dollar uh, write 32 as a percentage of 128 the way of writing the percentages first we should derive the fraction it is 32 divided by 128 uh, since we are going to convert it into percentage we will multiply it by 100 and you are allowed to use the calculator if you put this in your calculator we are getting the answer as 25 percentage <coughs> the next one is the original price of the jacket was reduced by 20 percentage to, to the dollar 32 so work out the original price so in the previous video as i have mentioned it we are calculating the original price that is nothing but we are going the backward calculation because original price is i mean uh, sale price is nothing but derived from original price actually this is the previous part i mean previous stage actually so since we are going the backward calculation we are going to use value by percentage that is a concept of value is 32 percentage is reduced by 20 percentage says that actually it is 80 percentage so 80 percentage i can write as 0 0.8 so 32 divided by 0 0.8 gives the 40 dollar which is the previous value of the jacket which is the original price of the jacket maybe you could feel that uh, for three mark how will it be enough actually that's it, the calculations let's go to the next question so in the 2a we have got aisha in verse twelve thousand dollar at a compound interest at a rate of 3.5 a percentage per year they mentioned it, it is a compound interest to calculate the value of her investment at the end of four years so in the formula let's substitute it is twelve thousand 
and uh, 3.5% so it is going to be 1.035 uh, power 4 why 4 because it is 4 years if you put this values in the calculator it is 13,770.28 even you can see that in a single line actually we have got that answer but it is worth of 3 marks next two years ago byron invested uh, p dollar at a compound interest per year three percentage per year the value of the investment is ten thousand seventy eight dollar point five five calculate the value of p actually even the backward calculation is what going to work because we are going to find the value two years ago so value divided by percentage so ten thousand seventy eight point five five we are going to divide by the percentage actually since it's a cumulative percentage i mean it's a compound one the cumulative one we are going to calculate so the percentage what you are using should be in the index like if it is five percentage you will be writing as 1.05 if it is for two years you will write two power two if it's for three years you will write three if it's four years you will write power four since we are calculating for two years and that is three years i mean three percentage whether it is an increase or decrease actually if you are investing in a compound interest obviously the amount will increase since we are investing it so it's going to be 1.03 power uh, 2 we will be getting that as the thing um, so 10078.55 whole divided by 1.03 whole square so that answer we are getting as 9500 which is the amount that he invested two years ago most of the questions you'll be getting the perfect answers so you can maybe if you want you can uh, redo it like whether you are getting when you are substituting in the compound interest formula whether you are getting the 10078.55 as the answer or not yes uh, so yeah next thing is we'll go to the c1 five years ago cheng invested a dollar q at a simple interest rate of four percentage per year the value of the investment is now 20400 calculate the value of q actually even here we are going to do the backward calculation but in the previous one if you see it's a compound interest so that i have given a hint that the percentage should have the power whatever that's that's why we have used 1.03 power 2 what we have to do for the simple interest actually because if it's a normal one if you are going to calculate it like this so we will be writing uh, 32 divided by if it's reduced by 20 percentage then it is going to be the 80 percentage so 0 0.8 will be writing it and here it is three percentage increase for two years so 1.03 power 2 for uh, simple interest what we are going to do is again the same value by percentage is what the one and only mantra we are going to follow it so 20,400 whole divided by simple interest also will increase the value so we need to write how much percentage it is going to be but if it is going to be the compound interest we'll be writing like 1.04 power 5 that's how we'll be writing it but you see here now what we are going to do is it is not a compound interest in simple interest that uh, interest amount will not get changed so first year if it is four percentage second year actually it is eight percentage so in that way if you calculate first year four percentage second year eight percentage third year twin i mean six sorry twelve percentage fourth year sixteen percentage and fifth year actually twenty percentage so totally it will be the twenty percentage of increase so so 20 percentage of increase we will be mentioning it as 1.2 because 120 percentage will be writing as 1.2 so 20,400 divided by 1.2 gives us the value as 17,000 so actually that is the amount what the A has deposited if you have a doubt maybe you can do the cross check by doing 17,000 multiplied by uh, 4 percentage for 5 years if you do it then let's sorry not one more zero so if you put these values in the calculator you will get to know whether our answer is correct or not so it is 17,000 into 4 into 5 divided by 100 gives 3,400 as answer and you know very clearly simple interest gives only the interest so along with this 3,400 if you add uh, 
17,000 which is the investment then we'll be getting the answer 20,400 the current value so our answer is correct if you want you can do the check for all the problems let's go to the next question it is Lewis invest of $500 at a rate of 2.5 uh, per year a simple interest calculate the total amount of the interest at the end of five eight years it's GDP problem so what we will do is 500 into 2.5 into 8 whole divided by 100 and calculator gives us the value total amount of interest is what they are asking so we just have to write only 100 100 is the only value that will write because they ask total amount of interest not the total amount of the value next Martha invers to $500 at a rate of 2.4 percentage uh, per year compound interest calculate the total amount of interest at the end of eight years so we'll follow the formula 5500 into uh, 2.4 percentage so it's going to be 1.024 power 8 right so if you put this in the calculator actually we are getting 604.46 as answer <coughs> so actually even here I should not write this as answer you know why because here they asked clearly total amount of interest is what I have to write so what I have to do is 604.46 whatever I have it here 604.46 is the total amount and I should calculate only the interest which means this value should be so how there I did not add the principal here I should subtract that uh, principle to get to know what is the exact uh, interest is so that we are getting the answer as 104.46 even previously I did not notice the word I mean, but after seeing the four marks only I have noticed that something should be extra so that is what this thing so the interest is 104.46 you can see the rate of interest is 2.5 but here 2.4 for same eight years when you are calculating here the interest is 100 whereas that air interest is 104.46 next Naomi invests an amount of money at a rate of 2.1 percentage per year compound interest find the number of complete years it takes for the value of Naomi's investment double <coughs> So let's take C is investing the principal value, let it be anything, and the in value is going to be 1.021 power T. We don't know, that's what we have to find. Then that is equal to it's going to be double so that it is 2P. And what we will do basically 1.021 whole power T is 2P by P. Usually that's what we will do, so it's going to be 2. Then to find the t value, we what we will do is log 2 whole divided by log of 0. Point, I mean 1.021. Because log of right side by log of base, if you use, you are getting the calculator answer as 34 years. So 34 years it will take if it is increasing in the 2.1 percentage to be the double value. Yes, when we go to the next one ask her invest an amount of money at a rate of r percentage actually here they have missed what is the rate of interest per year compound interest at the end of 31 years the value of the ask us investment is 2.5 times greater than the original amount find the value of r so even here we don't know that principle so let's write that as p so, and 1 plus r by 100 you can ask me why am i writing it as 1 plus r by 100 because i don't have any chance size pass because it's 2.1 percentage I can write that as 1.0 to 1 to make my work as easier but here our value is unknown so I should write like this no other go power 31 here actually they have given that years that is equals 2.5 times P because 2.5 times the original amount <coughs> now um, we know that 1 plus R by 100 power 31 is equals 2.5 p by p so if you cancel it it is going to be 2.5 then after that 1 plus r by 100 whole power 31 actually we can move this 31 to that side we know that if 31 is going that side it will be 31th root so either you can write this as 31th root of 2.5 or you can write as 2.5 power 1 by 31 any one you can use it but both are correct so I'm just writing this as 
31th root of 2.5 then i will move this plus 1 to that side so the time that r by 100 remains the same so 31th root of 2.5 minus 1 because plus 1 will go that side minus 1 why am i not calculating the value since i don't want to round the answer so i'm just showing all the workings so r equals 31 to root of 2.5 minus 1 this whole answer i should multiply it by 100 so that i will get the perfect answer actually i'm getting 2.99998 i'm getting so i can round to the three significant figure it is three if you want maybe you can write 3.00 or even three is better so that's it but uh, if how if you ask me whether i will write all this step no since i know that i am good at uh, changing the subject of the formula i will write directly from here r is equal to so first i will move 31 to that side so it's going to be 31 to root of 2.5 and plus 1 will go that side minus 1 division 300 will go that side multiplication 100 so in a single step i will write and i will put this in the calculator and i will get the answer as 3 right issue yeah so that answer is over then we have completed this worksheet also this is also worth of 25 marks i uh, hope you have understood some of the concepts of number strand so for more videos you can suggest my channel to your friends and if you have any queries or any questions you can mention in the comment section so that i can prepare videos on that or i can clear your doubts thank you for watching Contact the number which is in the screen for the private tuitions. Thank you.